Jamie King, faculty with New York University, sitting with Norman Fong, who just presented his capstone today. Mm -hmm. You're looking very sharp. By Thank the you. Way. Dressed up very well. Uh, you're not a game student. I want to stress that at the beginning of this video. This is not a game student. However, tell us about your capstone. All right, so my capstone is a 3D game that I built entirely in Java using the OpenGL framework. So with that, uh, with those two components, I built my engine, which I named the Simplish Engine. So, and with that engine, I created uh, my game, which is Black Aces. So right now, all I have is just a simple demo. And uh, as you can see right now, this is just the title screen. You did all this from scratch. No Unity, no UDK, no existing engine. You built this from the ground up. Yep, I built it entirely. So what you see now is built just using the Java framework, which is just Java Swing and all its uh, components. So all of this is built in Swing and with my own custom uh, animation system. Very neat. Let's play the game. All right. So this is just a simple demo that just uh, is loading right now. And this is what you presented for your capstone. Yeah, this is what I presented for my capstone. So what's the premise here? We're lying here, we wake up. Yeah, so I just wanted like a nice kind of soft startup for my demo. So I figured I'll uh, just have him sleeping and getting up. I'm randomly laying on the floor. The <laughs> animation was awesome. Yeah. You did the animation system from scratch as well. Yes, so I programmed uh, the animation system, which is co comprises of binding the skeleton to all the vertices of the 3D model. And I also built the 3D model from scratch, including all the skeletons and animations as well. So you learned modeling. Yes, I learned modeling throughout uh, my the artistic capstone. side of this. Yes, and then you had to go dig into the data, pull the the skeleton and all the tr nested transformations in to get this guy to animate. Let's run him around, show it off. It's all awesome. Right, so uh, you you even did the an the animations yourself. You didn't uh, pull these animations from some website or something. Nope. Is that uh, right? Yeah, I built everything from scratch. Make him walk. So, so I have uh, just a basic run animation. And then tell me about the game. I see some pillars. I see something in the corner of the room there. Yeah, so uh, right there, that's just a simple turret. Right now it's deactivated. But uh, I can simply activate it, and it'll lock onto me and follow me. And I'll shoot. Ah. <laughs> so the idea is not get shot by the turret. Yeah. So I can hide behind the pillar, and then just all the bullets would be hitting the pillar and stopping. So you have a collision system too? Yes, I do. So it's a, it's a very basic uh, radius collision system, so I can't just uh, run through the pillar at some places. Ah, still shooting. A little bit of clipper. clipper. Yeah, a little bit of clipping. It's not perfect, but uh, it's still there, so I'm going to deactivate that turret. Like most game programmers, you're not very good at your own game, but that's okay, because <laughs> yeah. you made the game. Yeah. That's awesome. So how did this make you grow? One of the reasons we have Capstone is to make you stand as an individual and do something challenging. How did this project do that for you? So, before I came into Capstone, I had no um, experience with 3D modeling or anything with 3D game development. So, by doing this Capstone, I have learned m many of the components of 3D modeling and uh, development in 3D games. So, that just expanded my skill set with my already pretty large skill set. So as the chair, I'm the chair of the, <laughs> the game engineering degree, and I've never had you in a class, mm. and I see this, and I'm just like, ah, oh, that's <laughs> awesome! Why didn't you choose game as your major? You chose computer science. Tell me about yeah. that. That's interesting. Well, I guess it just came down to the very beginning. I had to make a choice, and uh, I guess I, I thought programming would just be fun for just CS, so I chose CS over game dev just because I uh, I made a quick decision. <laughs> <laughs> and so, why did you build this project? You've done a lot of websites and things uh, throughout your time in Newmont. Why did you choose to build a game for your capstone? That's a really good question. Um, I guess I've always wanted to learn how to 3D model. I've always wanted to build a 3D game, but uh, I never had the chance to. So, over my career throughout Newmont, I've always built like web applications and websites and software applications, algorithms. So I figured that when Capstone came around, I, that was my opportunity to try something new. And I went forth and took that challenge. You did extremely well. It is impressive. Tell me about presenting your Capstone. How did that go? 
Oh, uh, that went really well. Um, I, en I enjoy presenting to a crowd of people. I invited some people, but not all of them showed up. But uh, I still had fun presenting to the judges who had really good questions. And uh, although it was a little bit nerve-wracking, it was rather enjoyable. So as faculty, when you hit a capstone, you do extremely well, as you did in this case. Uh, the presentation is a celebration for us as faculty, and it should be a celebration for every student that's presenting. Do you feel like it was a celebration? Uh, yes, absolutely. I'm now done with capstone, and that's a lot of stress off my chest. So Three more quarters, and then you graduate from the, the university. You're from where? Uh, Idaho. Uh, yeah, Idaho. Sorry. <laughs> awesome. Hey, good job. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.